Hey guys, it's Hannah and welcome back to the Dyslexic Reader. Today I wanted to talk about the friendliest place on the internet. And for me personally, I think it's Booktube. This is sort of a Booktube appreciation video. For those of you who have come to this video not maybe knowing what Booktube is, it is a slice of YouTube um, where people talk about books, we read books, review books, talk about books, compare books, recommend books, everything bookish, we've got it here on Booktube. It is a friendly, warm, opening community that accepts just about everyone, no matter age, sexuality, gender, race, what you read. It's pretty much completely open and it is a wheel of a time. I watched Booktube for... Um, only about a couple of months before I decided to put myself out there and start a channel. I know some people watch a lot longer than that, um, but that's about how long that I uh, watched it. I started watching smaller channels. Um, unlike most people, I did not find Booktube through the larger Booktubers and then sort of find my niche from there. Um, I can't even remember what it was, but I think I found a book review. Um, on YouTube and I thought oh, that's an interesting idea. I've only ever read book reviews, do you know, online. Never thought of sorting out YouTube. I was not even a massive YouTube watcher. Um, from that, the recommended down the side, I found a tag, um, which led into the whole world of BookTube. I started following um, Sue's Book Nook was one of the first ones I started following. Hannah Tay. Uh, Peter likes books. There was just a couple of people I gravitated towards. I enjoyed um, their personalities even if we didn't have similar reading tastes and I started watching booktube. Um, I wasn't a massive commenter because I didn't even have a YouTube account. Um, so I couldn't really participate. I just watched on the sidelines. Then I thought I would love to be able to respond to these people. So I made my YouTube account with no real notion of putting videos up. It was just that I could respond and be part of the conversation. Um, the people who videos I commented on were great. We had conversations, they replied. But it felt a bit one-sided to me, so I decided to put myself out there and do my booktube newbie tag, which is the classic kind of booktube first video. I was extremely nervous. And for those of you who don't know, I'm a teacher, so my living is standing in front of people and talking. So you would think getting in front of a camera in an empty room and talking would be easy, but for some reason it was so much scarier. I think it wasn't the filming process, but it was the uploading it process. What response was I going to get? I had seen from other people's comments sections that there wasn't nastiness, but I was afraid that this was particular people. I really liked them. Other people really liked them. So of course they weren't getting negative stuff. They were intelligent and articulate and were reading the right kind of books. So that's why they weren't getting negative comments. I was prepared for an onslaught of criticism from my background, which didn't look like this then. Um, uh, the way I looked, my accent, the books that I was reading, the way that I talk incredibly fast sometimes. I was sure that I was going to come under a lot of criticism. And I put up my first video. And the response was overwhelming. Every single comment was positive, uh, welcoming me to the community, expressing um, their wants to be friends and subscribe and for me to subscribe to them and to start a conversation. Um, even responding to things that I had said in the video, things I was worried about, they were reassuring me, things I had questions about, they were um, answering me and trying to help me out as best that they could. And that's really where my love of booktube and booktubing, creating content, really kicked off. I don't think I've ever experienced anything quite like that, and certainly not online, where you would put out yourself honestly with opinions and receive no harsh critique. That was not something in my life that I was at all used to through... A personal experience um, socially uh, through education through work there was always um, criticism and now it was 
not necessarily done nasty and it was sometimes helpful but I had never been completely accepted without some but you could change this and that was something that really struck with me in booktube. Now um, quite a number of years ago before I even started booktube I went off Facebook because I found it an extremely negative place and I felt like it was affecting my mental health in several ways so I decided to give it up. Now that's the only real social media before booktube that I ever had. Um, I, find, I felt like my booktube would not be found by people I, I knew. I don't know many readers, I certainly don't know many YouTube watchers. Um, I wasn't under my real name, there was nothing really to link me so unless one in a million chance I came up in the recommendation and they recognised my face, no one was going to find me. Um, so I felt confident-ish putting my first one up because the kind of judgement of people that I actually knew wasn't there. So if I had negative comments I could just take my channel down. No one had seen it, I could forget about it. I hadn't told anyone that I was doing my first video and it wouldn't matter. But it was so overwhelmingly positive that I decided that I wanted to interact more with people. So I set up both an Instagram and a Twitter related to the dyslexic reader. It's all linked down below if you want to follow me, as well as a Goodreads. I didn't know Goodreads existed before I started watching booktube. You guys, I've only been on like Goodreads for a year. I never knew that existed. I wish I had all the books I've read and forgotten about that could have been catalogued for me, but I know about it now. So it's all good. If you are any sort of a reader and do not know about Goodreads, mine's linked down below. Go to that link. That will be my profile, but you can check out the whole website and I really recommend starting to use Goodreads. Now, when it came to social media, I was a bit more, like, when I put especially my Twitter up, I was expecting a lot more negativity than I had received on YouTube, but that was not the case. I don't think I have ever received a nasty comment on my YouTube channel, my Twitter or my Instagram. There have been some comments, questions that could have been worded nicer, maybe, but they weren't intentionally trying to be negative or hurtful. Um, and everything else has been 100% positive, kind and supportive. And I just don't know where you would find that on the internet other than booktube and the bookish community. And for people who are so introverted, <laughs> uh, book people tend to be quite introverted people. Um, I fit into that category. For quite introverted people you wouldn't think that we would be so opening, welcoming, um, supportive, um, communicative. But for some reason on booktube it just all glues together. I really cannot say that I've had any negativity to this experience whatsoever. Everyone I know says exactly the same thing whenever you watch a booktube newbie tag. I love watching the newbie tags commented, welcoming the people. It's all the same. All booktube newbie tags, nearly as many views as they have, they have the same amount of comments. They're all welcoming and supportive. So if you have been thinking about starting a booktube but you're wondering about putting yourself out there I would say completely do it. It was one of the greatest things that I ever done. This is a place where I can be 100% myself. I can talk honestly about my books. That was what something that I thought as well okay if I want to get positive responses I'll have to make positive reviews. I'll have to have popular opinions and that's not the case at all. Um, booktube is up for differing opinions and discussing it in a respectful manner and that's something that I find absolutely incredible and it has really made me love the community so much more and that's all that I wanted to say. It's kind of a booktube appreciation video as I said. I just love the place and I wanted to thank everyone who has ever subscribed, liked, watched my video. If you've made it to the end of this video well done and thank you. I hope you're all happy, I hope you're all healthy and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.